And Tom Pritzker is my friend, and he's the head of Hyatt Corporation. And he says to me a few weeks ago, he says, you know, Ron, I've been trying to figure out for a long time how you do this. How does this happen? And uh, how do you pick stocks? And then he says, I figured it out. What you do is you try to find people who you really like, who you really admire, who you think are great leaders, uh, you, you like integrity, uh, you can trust them, and then you invest in, and then you find out a way to invest with them. If you like the person, you figure out some way to invest with them. That's what you do. And I think about that, and that is what we do. We try to find, and it goes back to when I was a kid, and I watched the people who were most successful in Asbury Park. And one guy owned uh, the rides on the boardwalk. You know, and they had there's a, a, a platform. So people go to the boardwalk and they buy the rides, or they play the cuckoo dolls, uh, or they had the umbrella uh, franchise, or you know, the, or the suntan franchise when I was selling uh, on the beach from a lifeguard. You know, so I see these things, and uh, my whole life it's the people who uh, my grandfather, you know, we started off as a construction worker, then he was a peddler, then he owned a candy store. He didn't own, sell the candy store when things weren't going well. Um, he just figured out I'll put more pink balls in there so that uh, they can uh, bounce the penny on the street. So it's about just being long-term about everything. And the people who've done the best that I've watched have done, you know, just invested for the long-term in businesses, and that takes you through the inflation. But oh, one more thing. About a week ago, there was an article in the New York Times over the weekend uh, interviewing six or seven money managers about what they thought. And everyone said, well, we have to wait till inflation peaks and we have to wait till interest rates start going down, except for one guy. That was Lloyd, blank fine. And he says that we could, we're going to get through this. He says, in 1963, uh, we were stopping the Cuban Missile Crisis. We were stopping Russian ships in mid-ocean, and, and uh, they were putting missiles in Cuba. We got through that. They had National Guards shooting kids on campuses. We got through that. So we've had, periodically, we had assassinations of political leaders. We got through that. So there's all these things that happen all the time. On the other hand, in entropy, you know, it's this, uh, you know, chaos. Uh, whenever we've had it before, we've come through, and the stock market is 800, as we talked before in 1982. It's now 32,000, 40 times. Would you, are you putting more money to work right now because you can find more opportunities because prices have come down, or is this a situation uh, where you literally just keep your head down and it's business as usual? In uh, last November, last the end of October, you couldn't find things that were expensive, that were cheap. That were cheap. Now you can't find things that are expensive. You can't find anything that's expensive. And so if I had more money to invest, I would invest it. I'm invested. You're fully invested. Yeah. And, uh, you know, we get more money, but uh, and, and in chunks. And so as soon as we get it, we invest it. But, uh, you know, I find things everywhere. And that doesn't mean this is the bottom. It just means this is a great time to invest. When you're talking today, you're going to hear... Uh, you know, Hyatt and, and, uh, and Vail, and those are companies in which we invest. And these are companies that, that are selling, uh, you know, they, they have, uh, you know, they, they buy in their stock, uh, they have a couple of percent yield, they shrink their capitalization seven or eight percent a year, they're selling at 11 or 12 times, uh, there are benefits from inflation. In the 1970s, when I was investing at the beginning, and there was a lot of inflation at that period of time, I couldn't understand, the stock market kept going down, I couldn't understand it, I said, these businesses in which I'm investing, what they own keeps getting more valuable, and every day the stocks go down. Why is that? And of course it ended, but in the 1970s, even though the stock market was going down, the businesses in which we're investing, so I'm a stockbroker, I'm selling research that I'm doing to hedge funds and mutual funds, and in the 1970s, the ideas that I'm selling, they're making money because the companies that we're investing in, they kept growing through it all. You know, it was Disney and McDonald's and Federal Express and Nike and Mattel and Hyatt. So they kept growing and Tropicana, and, uh, and so my clients, I, I wouldn't have been able to make a living if I, you know, if I was just being a long-term investor in the 1970s. I needed commissions. And so I would get people to buy one stock, and then they'd double or triple, and then they would sell it uh, and then to buy my next idea. So sell, sell Nike to buy Hyatt, you know? And what would happen is that uh, I look back after 10 years or 15 years, I said, man, I'm a disaster. Look at all those companies that I recommended selling and look what happened. I could have been rich. They were up, you know, I recommend they doubled or tripled or, you know, and, and they're up 30 times, 20 times, 50 times. So that's what happened. That's how I became a long-term investor.